What is happening guys? Today I'm going to be flexing my sealed set collection. Let's get into it. The reason I really wanted to make this video is because I have a lot of sets that I don't really plan on opening. These are things like UCS sets, some older retired sets that I picked up from like bricks and minifigs and stuff. And I have a really hard time with the idea of like opening these like old school collector sets. So this video gives me a reason to kind of show them off but not actually have to open them. So I'm going to be hunting down all of my sealed sets that I don't really plan to open for the most part and uh, show them to you guys. So let's check it out. This is the uh, first one I found, easiest one, because I actually just had it right above there. This is one of those sets I just don't plan on opening anytime soon. This is the Duel on Geonosis, came out around, I don't know, 2013. We don't have a lot of Episode 2 sets, but there's also a lot of that brittle brown kind of pieces in here, so that's a big reason why I don't want to open it. Something else is I already do have a Poggle the Lesser figure that I got from Bricks and Minifigs a few years ago. So I don't really necessarily need to open it for him. And for Count Dooku, that would be awesome. I don't have this version of Count Dooku, unfortunately. But it is still the same face print as Saruman from Lord of the Rings. Go figure, right? Same actor. Would love to open it. Don't really have a place for it. So I think I'm going to keep it in the books. Side note, this is my, uh, my poor attempt of a Geonosis battle mock here that I was thinking that I could maybe fit this into. Uh, more to come on this this display. Don't don't look at that. While we're in this room, uh, this set, this is actually a set I really, really want to build, and I was hoping to get two of, one to stock and one to rock. Unfortunately, I have not got a second one of these, and I haven't even checked to see what the aftermarket price is on this. So I think for now, I'm going to keep this one on the shelf. Ooh, I know it hurts, doesn't it? Before we leave this room, I do want to mention that I do have a lot of sets that are still in the box that I do plan to open, for instance, this Minecraft, uh, all these little Minecraft sets here. I do plan on opening, I think I do have a few retired ones, but with Minecraft I don't care that much unless it's like the big UCS ones. And now let's look around the house and see if we can find all of my sealed sets that I don't plan on opening because I suck. Right here, this one was uh, pretty easy to find. I keep this one in Emily's room for now until she catches on and makes me take it back. But this is my UCS Slave 1. I am in love with this ship. I don't want to build it. I've seen some people break the brown on it. Plus I already have a few other Slave 1s. So I don't see the need for it and I don't really have the space. I also have these two sets so uh bespin duel really cool set i think that was the comic con exclusive and so was this i can't remember anymore what was what but i do remember that both the bespin duel and the nebulon b frigate were each exclusive really only to america our friend actually gave this one because we helped facilitate a sale for a what was it a one of those exclusive comic-con spider-man the sony spider-man one anyways i don't know how we got it but gave us this one and then this one i actually found at a bricks and minifigs down in san antonio all right ready for the closet of shame okay these are our backlog sets at least a part of our collection so i still have a few star wars one i got this one at a really good deal Really wanted to build it, but I just, you know, haven't had the time or the space is a real big problem. So I haven't built that set. There's a few other sets I don't even know what they are that I haven't really built. I've, uh, you know, collected a lot of these 501st Battle Packs. Got some friend sets, got some other sets that, you know, I, I had good intentions of building. Like, I really want to build that Dagobah one, but you can see it's at the bottom of that pile. Ooh, here's a good one. I Oops. I do not plan to open this one again. This is another kind of similar situation to the Comic-Con ones. This is a Comic-Con Wonder Woman set. And then you can actually see over there, we have the same thing, the Comic-Con Black Widow. Can you believe it? I actually have two of these. Um, I did plan on opening it because I really like Taskmaster, but I didn't like Taskmaster in the movie. So I never got around to opening it, but I do like him. Ooh, and I almost forgot about this one. How could I, right? This is the elusive uh, Christmas X-Wing, the 20-year anniversary gift. Uh, my wife actually got this for me. She says she got it for her, but I know she got it for me. Uh, I, I cannot bring myself to open this set. Uh, I would just cry. Moving all the way up over here, I think the other set I don't think I'll ever open, similar to the Death Star, is last year's May the 4th promo, uh, the kitchen, right? What's it? Uh, Lars Family Homestead Kitchen. I don't really think this is that good of a set to put on a shelf anyways. It looks like a fun build. I would love to have built it, but I don't know where I'd put it, and I think it just looks nicer in the box as is. There are a lot of sets in here that I don't plan on opening, not really for collection sake, but more of like an investment. So we have a lot of these uh, Ray stowaway or castaway sets as well. Some of these 
Idea Sailboats, the Harry Potter Book of Monsters. This one I'm kind of on the fence. I really like it, but uh, I just, again, don't really have a place for it. <laughs> Man, looking at all these uh, these Lego on my backlog here, I feel terrible. Oh, and here's another one too. This one I will not open because uh, I love my uncle so much from when I was a kid. I wanted two of these, one to rock and one to stock, but the gift with purchase threshold for this was like ridiculous, so we only got one. Okay, so far this is what I have found both in my room and in Emily's office. Already off to a really good start with my sealed sets, but we haven't even got to the big ones yet, so let's go check those out. We made our way to the Lego City and I already see one set out. This is one of those ones where I've always wanted to build, but I just don't know if we will. Stranger Things, the Upside Down. Oh, such an awesome set. I believe Emily was actually making like a TikTok with that set recently, so that's why it is out. But let's go ahead and check out the rest of the sets under the table. We keep them all under the table here, and we have a nice little Velcro system where we can pull that curtain out, and we can see everything underneath. Whoa. All right, I already see a few of them. All right, taking a look here again, a lot of these sets we have more for investment purposes or we just never got around to building them. Looking at this, I'm just a little bit in shock over all the sets we have in here. So let's go ahead and start off with this theme here, Lord of the Rings. Now, this one I'm kind of torn on. I really want to build these old school Lord of the Rings sets. Again, they came out in that 2012, 2013 era. So there's a lot of brown pieces that will break. In fact, my friend Claire said, that when she built the Tower of Orthanc, this end here was just shredding in her hands and might have even made her like bleed. So I'm a little bit nervous about building that end. I would love to build this tower, but I just have a really hard time opening this set. We have a few other Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets here that I'm kind of feeling the same way about. For instance, we have Attack on Weathertop. Um, this set, I think I'd be okay with opening. I just don't have a place for it necessarily. There's nothing super amazing about the set really so it's just kind of cool to have in collection i kind of feel the same way about this one the Merkwood elf army um i like that it comes with the Andrew. i really like that actor lee pace uh you know wasn't really in the books but still kind of cool plus who doesn't love a warg speaking of warg attack of the wargs comes with uh, i believe two wargs the white warg and the gray warg and it's that end scene of the first hobbit movie Again, I wouldn't mind necessarily building this set. A little bit nervous about all the brown in the trees. I don't know, I guess I probably won't open it now. <laughs> and then over here, you guys might be able to see it. The desolation of Schmaug. My precious, my precious. Oh yes. Oh, here it is. Oh, I absolutely love this set. The Hobbit Battle of Five Armies. Didn't like the movie much, and I especially didn't like the scene that this set depicts. Uh, there's a lot of weird CGI going on here. However, I am very happy to have this set. I'm very happy to have Schmaug. Absolutely love him. So this one I will not be opening. Absolutely cannot bring myself to do it. Okay, taking a look behind the Atari. This is a set we planned to build and just never did. Is the uh, Vader's TIE Advance and A-Wing Starfighter. This one's kind of interesting. I did really want to build this set, but I don't know. I can't really bring myself to do it for a few reasons. Um, I probably do have space for this. I always have space for A-Wings and TIE Advanced Fighters. The real problem with this is this set had a very limited run. It was only out on shelves for like, I don't know, eight months or something, if I remember right. So I have a really hard time building it, and it comes with little baby Grand Moff Tarkin. So I don't think I'll be building this set either. Ooh. And I think we might be rounding out our last Star Wars one. I don't know how I feel about this. I really want to build this one, um, but I just don't have the space. I'm sure I could find somewhere to put it, but I like this set a lot. It comes with K2SO and Director Krennic. That's the only way you could get either of those characters. And this is uh, Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. I really hope we get another like version of this. We kind of saw something similar with the Scythe in the Kenobi show. But uh, again, I just can't bring myself to open this one just yet, but this one's maybe in the maybe. We'll see what happens. And this right here is probably my most rare set of all. It's not the most expensive. It means a lot to me. And uh, you can tell because I have it wrapped up nice and tight in the shipping that it came in. The person who shipped it to me did a really good job. All right, fellas, here. It is. This is the Overwatch 2 Titan Mech 
I love Overwatch. I've been playing Overwatch for like three or four years now. I actually got into Overwatch because of the Lego sets. And if you don't already know this set, um, we kind of joke about it. It's called like the band or the illegal set. Um, I was able to find it not for a decent price, but I really got it because, you know, Overwatch means a lot to me. However, <laughs> lately, Overwatch, uh, I've been having a hard time playing it. I think I'm getting too old because every time I get it on, I have a bunch of kids yelling at me. So I've kind of moved on to Minecraft, ironically. But yes, this set is awesome. I, I cannot bring myself to build this one. I've thought about maybe I, I will build it if I could put it into like a display case immediately after. But even then, I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Comes with May. That's the only way to get May. And um, the Overwatch 2 version of Tracer. So, super stoked about this one. Again, I just I can't do it. I just can't do it. I attempted to put all of these sets on the table. And as you can see, I had a hard time. So we have two of the sets here on the bottom as well as two Star Wars sets back there. These sets mean the world to me, honestly. I love them. And I love them sealed. Uh, that's an interesting topic, right? But I just want to say I'm very grateful for this. Actually, none of these came from Lego or LAN or anything. All of these I spent my own money from my job to get. But I am very fortunate that I was in a position where I could purchase all of these because for years I really missed out on these. And I just love looking at them. I really need to figure out a way, possibly even up here. I might just put all my favorite sealed sets to keep them there nice and safe. But I don't know. There's a window over there. So we'll figure that one out. So yeah, that does beg the question. I know there's like mixed feelings about having a sealed set collection. Personally for me, however you want to play or collect your Lego, whatever, man. If you if you want to buy a thousand dollar retired Lego set and launch it into the sun, go for it. It's your money, dude. So let me know what you guys think about this. It's an interesting discussion for sure. And again, I know I'm, I'm joking about flexing these Lego sets, but for real, I, I am very grateful for this pile of plastic behind me. It, it does bring me great joy. So let me know what brings you joy in terms of Lego. Uh, do you like blowing up your Lego sets? Or do you like displaying it, breaking it down? It's a very interesting uh, situation, huh? Thanks for letting me show you my collection and have a good one. Mm.